Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and happy, happy, happy New Year's. It is officially 2017. We can wave goodbye to 2016 and all the crappiness, all the goodness that it brought you. So I was pretty happy with 2016, but it's too late. It's 2017. So, but if you want to see the products that I actually liked during last year, just keep watching. But first, hit that subscribe button. Always means so much to me. Just hit it. Come on. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Bye guys. So let's start off with my favourite topic to talk about. You know what it is? Makeup. Makeup, beauty products, everything. And 2016 brought out the goods. They really did. Well for me anyway, I don't know about everyone else. But let's start off with the two favourite foundations that I pretty much wore every day that I wore makeup. That got me through from January to December 31st. So, number one is my Youngblood Cosmetics. This is my Loose Mineral Foundation. This is a foundation that is 100% minerals. So, I have acne prone skin. This, this is a legend for it. It doesn't break me out. It, this has the fullest coverage of any foundation that I will ever use or you will ever use. It's pricey, but if you have acne prone skin and just need that sort of relaxation on your skin, get this. I'm in the shade Honey. I'm not wearing it today because that's typical for me not to wear the foundation that I talk about. Let's move on to the second one. So the other foundation that's pretty much got me through the second half of 2016 is the L'Oreal Magique Cushion Madu. You know what I'm talking about anyway. This got me through the last few months of the year because it is so natural. I have used this in a few tutorials already. Go watch them. I'll link them down below. Amazing, amazing coverage, amazing quality of product, and if you use a sponge or if you use a brush, you'll still get an awesome result. Buy it. So the two primers I use for whole 2016 are both from Maybelline. I'm only going to show you one because in my opinion they're pretty much identical. These are the Maybelline Dream Smooth Primer. I pretty much think it's exactly the same as the Baby Skin in my in my opinion, they both fill in my pores and your little fine lines, like smile lines, because I smile all the time. But like, it's awesome and I find that a lot of primers don't work for me in general, but this one definitely does. So let's talk about my favourite makeup products that I can't live with. Literally, I can't live without these two because they're brows and brows frame your face. They are everything. I can't leave the house without my eyebrows on and these two products save me from staying inside all day. I do that anyway. But anyway, this is the brow pencil from Colourpop, this shade Banging Brunette. Favourite. It's so thin and awesome and comes with spoolie. I like the spoolie. But this is awesome. The price is like $6. Don't quote me on that. From Colourpop Cosmetics. I love it. But if I do want that Instagrammy brow, 100% I choose my Chi Chi Brow Pomade. I have the shade Shade Dark Brown. This gives you full coverage brows, if you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't leave them sparse. Like, perfectly defined damn brows, if you get what I mean. I love it. And it's super affordable. And apparently it's like a dupe for the Anastasia Bobby Hills one as well, which is like, it retails for like $38 here. This is 13 Guess which ones I'm going to choose? Save the money. So in 2016, I had three sort of moods for lip colours. Literally dark, which I'm wearing now, but you know, it's not, nothing was really my favourite last year for dark lips. I either had a nude or a bright pink, and definitely my favourite, again, Colourpop. Colourpop, you feel me, you love me, I love you, you know what I want, except you discontinued my favourite, which is my favourite lipsti lippy stick in the shade Frida, which is a satin finish. Favourite ultimate nude colour, it's like my lips but better. But you discontinued it. Mm, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm not happy about it at all, guys. And this is my last one. And you know how you have those days where you just need that bright lipstick to pop you up? Well, 100% this is my Milani lipstick doodle in number 14, Rose Hip. It is an ultra bright pink lipstick that I can't put down. If I want to feel more awake or happier, I put this on and I'm like, I'm on something because I'm so happy in general. Mm -mm. 
Milani hit the point on this as well. And as someone that does suffer from acne and dry skin, it's hard to find a concealer that covers full coverage but doesn't dry out my skin as well. So I found these two. The first one is a green concealer by NYX. It's like the HD Duda. It's really, it's really green though. So it's great for my, like, I don't know if you can see, all of that under there, a cystic acne under there, it's massive. This hides it really well. But on top of that, I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal in the color Light. Wow, this is full coverage for like, for like, Priceline drugstore, or whatever you call it. Wow. 2016, you brought this good. So I'm just going to throw this one in here. The Beauty Blender. Nothing more to say about it. Thanks. For eyeshadows this year, let's just round everything up to a brand that I love. It's Colourpop. Colourpop blows out of the park with pretty much every product I've tried. And once again, my favourite eyeshadow plunge in the super shock ones it is this beautiful everyday like gold oh look at that that is pretty that's pretty oh i take this everywhere it's traveled a lot with me every day pretty much every day that i'm going to just walk out of the house i'm gonna feel pretty with this on for my final makeup product that i love for 2016 it has to come down to my carly bible bh cosmetics palette this comes with so many shades i can't open it because it's all broken inside because i use it that much and i've dropped it this has travelled to four different countries with me, twelve fifty I think it sells for online, and I love it. Well done Carly and BH Cosmetics. But seriously, BH Cosmetics, fixtures shipping cost to Australia, it's so expensive. I can't buy your products if you're going to send, like charge me $50 just to send it to Australia. Ridiculous. Fix that BH Cosmetics, please. So 2016 was one of those years where my skin went from really bad pretty good actually if I do say it myself and I use this one cleanser that saved me I took this to China at the start of last year and I used a sample size my acne pretty much cleared up that trip like when I got home it was so good so naturally I had to repurchase the giant sort of size and thank you so much this is the Skin Institute Elactic cleanser it is this gel consistency beautiful foam up it strips off my makeup I usually use it twice, like, you know, double wash, whatever it's called. Oh, my favourite holy grail. Don't make me, don't make me talk, go on about this. I'll be here for days. I love it. Next is something you ain't going to be surprised at because it's a holy grail for a lot of YouTubers out there. It is this guy. Oh, there you go. It is the Garnier Micellar 2-in-1 Duda. I've gone through countless bottles of this. It is the only cleanser that I don't cry when I use it if you know what I mean like I don't sting it doesn't burn I've used Bioderma like the, the real one and this is exactly the same in my opinion like identical love it so so cheap as well the next two items I'm going to talk about are moisturizing agents number one I have dry acne prone skin do you know how hard that is like it's really hard to control by the way dry and acne yeah, not good combination there. But this item is from Cetaphil. It's the Daily Advance Ultra Hydrating Lotion. This is so hydrating, but not like I'm rubbing too much oil on my face. I do love oils in general, but it doesn't feel gross. And that's what I love about it. And it's from the drugstore and it's super cheap. The other skincare item is the Tarte Maracuja. This is the tiny little baby bottle because it's so expensive, but um, it's pretty much empty too. I love this. I've used this with my foundation, my liquid ones, to sheer it out or add that dewy look to it as well. I don't know if I can replace, like, repurchase this because it's so expensive. So if you have a cheaper alternative to the Tarte Maracuja oil, please let me know, guys. So let's talk about my final favorite item for 2016. Y'all know what it's going to be. I've talked about these before. It is my Boohoo shoes. I don't know what they are, like skater shoes, but with glitter detail. My boyfriend hates these. He, think, he thinks I'm like 10 year old when I'm wearing this. I don't care. These are so cool. Never will stop wearing these, but they're really dirty. Oh, and they smell. Whew. You gotta clean your shoes out, Katie. 
So there you go, guys. This is my favorite, sort of condensed favorites from everything in 2016. I hope 2016 was awesome for you because it was pretty good to me and I can't wait to have a good 2017 with you guys out there. So I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.